In our top story this evening, New Mexico Governor Michelle Grisham filed multiple gun laws this legislative session. Many residents are now voicing their concerns. Today, Lee County Commissioners unanimously voted to make their county a Second Amendment sanctuary. Good evening. I'm Katie Orth. And on many floors, Big Two's Gian Kim paid a visit to Lovington for the commissioners meeting there. She joins us now with more on the political climate around this controversial issue. Gian. Lee County Sheriff Corey Helton says the governor not allowing sheriffs to bring their weapons into the Capitol on the first day of legislation back in January has kicked off the statewide movement. I was angry. I'm still angry about it. Longtime resident Dale Williams says a newly filed legislation for gun laws hit Lee County hard. All it's doing is disarming law abiding citizens who have every right to protect themselves and their property. What's reasonable in these urban areas is not reasonable to these rural areas. And the commissioners voted unanimously to give its residents exactly what they asked for. Making Lee County a Second Amendment sanctuary, meaning its local authorities won't enforce the proposed tougher gun laws. This is a gra grassroots effort. It's symbolic. It's showing the unity across the different counties in the state. And while some may believe this is just another political divide. It's been split. Uh, I will admit it's been split. Republican State Party Chairman Steve Pierce says he's seen more bipartisan effort than ever. Some that voted 85% Democrat in the last election are supporting this. Only three counties, or, or excuse me, only four counties have not joined on board, and they're getting pressure in their commissions to join. These are not politicians. They're just people who are out to give their voice. They want to be heard on the Second Amendment. Commissioners making Lee County a Second Amendment sanctuary now makes it 31 cities or counties throughout the state of New Mexico who are fighting back. People are saying it's not a matter of political party, but it's a matter of family and tradition. In Lovington, I'm Jeon Kim, Big 2 News.